um, to be able to do um, this work. Indeed, it is a privilege uh, for us to serve and uh, we are indeed um, humbled. We have convened um, here to give you a short briefing um, following um, the swearing in of the Premier uh, yesterday. The leadership of the African National Congress is the governing uh, party, uh, provincially and, and nationally, has been um, briefed uh, about uh, this work that we are doing here today. And uh, in doing so, they have emphasized uh, to us the importance of collective uh, team and how important it's gonna be for us to work collectively. We also need to strive to make sure that the lives of the people of KwaZulu-Natal um, are changed and the province uh, needs to be better. We need to understand the sacrifices of our fallen heroes and heroines um, that their lives were worth um, the fight. We also assume uh, our responsibility, fully aware, colleagues, that this country and our province in particular is facing serious economic challenges. And judging from all the commentary in the public, in the media, um, in the media outlets, um, our people are suffering out there. We need to deal with the issues of poverty, the issues of inequity in the economy, um, to also ensure that uh, the job creation and working with all the social partners become um, our priority in rebuilding the economy um, and creating the decent jobs for our communities in KwaZulu-Natal. We need to strive to ensure that our people in the rural areas, in the townships, um, really do get to benefit from um, the work um, that the government is doing. Our strong focus will be um, directed into unlocking opportunities available through the integrated government investment, infrastructure development, targeting, and the implementing um, the radical economic transformation programs um, across um, all the corners of our province. We wished at this stage um, to pause and um, give you the um, rundown of the colleagues that are here, as you have seen them, uh, now taking an oath uh, from the judge. Um, their work um, starts in earnest uh, immediately, but we will request that you give them space um, to be able to get into their offices and understand um, uh, the magnitude of the work that we are all facing as we begin um, our various tasks. So the new members of um, uh, the Executive Council is MEC for Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs. As uh, you saw him uh, taking oath now, it's going to be um, MEC uh, uh, Smoni Soduma. Um, he will also be ensuring that um, we all work as a collective, as already indicated, um, leading our country and our province towards the rebuilding um, of the economy um, from um, the devastation and destruction of COVID-19, the July unrest, as well as the floods that we had experienced. The next MEC, it's the MEC for Economic, uh, MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, um, MEC Sihlezi Galala. Um, yeah, under his leadership, we, under, we know that um, he is our former premier, and you will recall as well that he has had a number of programs that uh, he had championed um, in our province, including um, uh, nationally and working with all the stakeholders. We also um, know that um, under his stewardship, we are going to be able to support um, uh, our municipalities, um, as well as the mayors and, and all other spheres of government that we need to be working with. The next MEC is MEC of Health, MEC Nomakuku Smelani. As a provincial government, again, um, uh, the MEC is being 
um, given yet another energy um, because we know um, his energy has helped us to navigate very difficult times um, during the outbreak of COVID-19, which was the biggest threat um, to the lives of our people and as well as our province. And we, notwithstanding the challenges, the African National Congress again has seen it fit that um, MEC Nomakuku uh, lead the team of all the health workers and the workers in general who will ensure the continuous provision of health care for our people in the province. Um, the next MEC is MEC for Social Development, which is going to be MEC Nontlandla Koza. And at this stage, I, I must admit that our province um, is, is, is seriously affected by the proliferation of drugs and an increasing number of young people um, that are really seriously impacted by this um, as a problem. And it is a threat to our social stability. Crime has fueled uh, by the nature of the life of our young people. And we know that uh, with the work that uh, she's going to be doing with all other stakeholders, we will really need to ensure that we create an environment where our young people do see the future and uh, have got something um, that they can grow and be um, a, a useful um, citizens um, in the future. The next um, MEC is MEC for Human Settlement and Public Works, MEC Dr. Kululeko Tutuga Matlaba. We wish to indicate that uh, with um, Dr. Matlaba, and, and um, we also congratulate him um, as he is joining the Executive Council. Um, his focus will be that one of speeding up the rollout of temporary residential units as we know that uh, many of our people are still in the temporary shelters and we really want to seriously um, deal with this a matter and give it a speed and the attention um, that it deserves. We understand that um, our people should not uh, really still be living under those conditions that they are living under. But we know as well that due to uh, challenges that we've had to face, in terms of how we get land, in terms of how we ensure that there is infrastructure so that when they get um, the houses, there is proper infrastructure in, the, in their homes. So that has had to take a lot of planning, a lot of interaction also with the um, engineers and, and other uh, people, including the municipalities. The next MEC is MEC um, for Finance. MEC Peking Konyeni um, is a new MEC, new second hand. Um, <laughs> the MEC will also ensure that um, the government resources and the government purse, um, and we ensure that uh, the strengthening um, of uh, service delivery uh, by various uh, government departments. We have agreed that um, uh, Treasury must also be at the forefront of ensuring uh, the deployment of skills accountants um, in various municipalities to ensure that every rand is spent efficiently and effectively. The next MEC is MEC Agriculture and Rural Development, MEC Bongi uh, Sitole Moloi. We are confident that the MEC will continue to work with the farming community to ensure that agriculture becomes our solution to both food um, insecurity and unemployment. You would understand and know that uh, our province um, is endowed um, with good um, uh, a, a kind of a infrastructure environment and we need to unleash that potential if we are to make a dent to the unemployment uh, but also um, in the growing uh, of our economy. The next MEC is MEC Transport Community Safety and Liaison, MEC Support Lomuga. We also wish to um, congratulate um, uh, uh, all these MECs, and um, we celebrate the dawn of democracy 
and we never imagined that um, um, the issues of violent crimes um, that we still see in our country um, is something that our people should be experiencing. Crime results in deprivation of rights and dignity of our citizens and poses a threat to their right for participation in the reconstruction and the redevelopment of our province. And we know the challenges that we have with our roads infrastructure, and we are hoping that the MEC, as is also a, a brand new second hand, will be able to hit the ground running um, with regard to a responsibility that has been trusted in, uh, in him. The next MEC is MEC Education, MEC Mbali Fraser. We congratulate uh, the new MEC. She will be um, assessing the, the, the performance of the schools. Um, the MEC is not new um, to this environment. Having served um, in various structures uh, as a teacher, principal, as a um, SATU member and as a um, COSATU uh, member at, uh, within the teaching environment. We hope that she is going to be able to hit the ground running, uh, particularly as she come in at the time when we're supposed to be preparing our learners uh, for um, uh, the um, winter schools and the spring um, uh, school. Uh, we are hoping that even our results, as um, our learners begin their matric um, result, I mean, um, uh, writing uh, sessions, um, our MEC will be able to cover uh, all the ground um, that is supposed to be covered. The other new MEC, as we congratulate her, is MEC for Sports, Arts and Culture. Um, it's MEC Amanda Pane Mapena. She will champion all the programs that will promote our diversity in different cultures, the unity that can be achieved as we celebrate together our national days with all our communities. We also need to demonstrate that we are indeed proud of our sons and daughters and united as KwaZulu-Natal. The MEC will roll out programs that will unlock the potential of our province but also our artists, athletes, soccer players throughout um, the corners uh, of our province, including the school's uh, sports. We also wish to indicate uh, members of the media that uh, these are um, the MECs um, that will be uh, forming part of the executive. As you would have seen that we have a number of MECs that are already have been um, in the Executive Council, and uh, together as a team, uh, we have been given that responsibility um, to lead. And once again, we want to thank our former uh, Premier, especially um, uh, MEC Zikalala, uh, as well as all the outgoing MECs um, and the various categories of staff, um, and we wish to salute them for their contribution in creating a stronger province um, socially and economically. We wish to also acknowledge that they have been part of the uh, smooth transaction, uh, transition uh, from uh, the previous Executive Council to the new Executive Council that um, is going to be sitting uh, from now uh, onwards. We will do our ultimate best to ensure that all our public servants remain motivated. We also appreciate um, them as engines of change um, and central to the efforts that are aimed at ensuring a solid service delivery, a government that is capable, a government that is effective, a government that is efficient, uh, we will have to find uh, models of ensuring that um, this is realized. It is also important to emphasize that we will also build from the solid foundation that has already been um, uh, set uh, already laid by my pre uh, predecessors, and we will put greater efforts in implementing what we have agreed upon, um, that is of service delivery, and the one of putting our people first, um, as well as um, the electorate um, at large. And, and once more, we wish to congratulate all the MECs and um, congratulate um, the African National Congress as well uh, for ensuring that um, they support uh, me 
in putting um, uh, the team uh, that we have uh, put together. Uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance. Thank you very much, Honourable Premier, and to the Honourable MECs, colleagues. Uh, for today, we won't be taking any questions because we will be having future media engagement where we'll be able to engage with the Premier on the new developments. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Um, as uh, Kugu has said, um, you, we will also allow the new MECs to be able to um, take their rightful positions and we request that you really give them space uh, to be able to do just that. Thank you.